after the madness of yesterday's episode, we are back to more familiar action today as we take on Murphy Tidville in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another episode. And today, guys, we've got episode number four of season two of the Kingsland series, Walks to Prem, here on Football Manager 2020. And yeah, guys, we are carrying right on from where we finished off in the episode yesterday with the bonkers game against Notts County. If you've not gone and watched it yet, pause this, go back and watch that one because it's well worth a watch. Even if I do say so myself, it was a mad, mad game. I really enjoyed it. I think it's the best video I've ever done. So go and check it out. And yeah, just before I started recording this one, because I recorded that one like five, ten minutes ago. So just before I started recording this one, I had to stop myself laughing. I tried recording five or six times, but I just could not stop myself laughing because of that game of football. So yeah, go and check it out. But as for today, we've got Murpher Tidville at home. And Murpher are, I think, a special opponent for Kingsland because it was back in 2009 when Kingsland travelled all the way down to Murpher. Myself and a whole lot of other Kingsland fans went all the way from Norfolk all the way over to South Wales to see us win the league against Murpher Tidville in a very special game, a very special atmosphere. I remember it being a very beautiful sunny day and it was just a, one of those perfect footballing occasions that you just never forget. And so, yeah, very special game today. Hopefully we can replicate the result against Murphy today and get a win. But before we do jump into that game, let's have a look at the FA Cup draw for the first round proper. Who are we going to get? Sunderland would be nice. I'm hoping for like a big team. I want a big, big team so we can try and rectify our finances because, yeah, not good. So a big team like a Sunderland or something like that where we can get on TV and get a big crowd would be very, very nice. So you know what? We're going to do this draw, draw this automatically. We're going to see who everybody else gets as well. So I'm just going to keep on pressing auto, just going to press automatically and just see what happens pretty much. So first up out of the hat is Forest Green. Wouldn't mind them. Crawley, okay. Cheltenham are going to be playing Stourbridge or Harrogate. Blythe Spartans versus us. Oh, we're out early. Oh, not the big team I wanted, but a glorious chance to get into the second round of the FA Cup. Oh, I am loving that. Let's just go draw all teams for the rest. I don't care who's playing elsewhere now and so what a draw that is Blythe Spartans at home it's not going to get us the money we wanted but second round could be on yes oh, I'm so happy with that okay now let's go into the tactics and let's go and see the team for today's game. Rather surprisingly, the team is all the same as the last game against Notts County. So we've got Barnes in goal, Richards at left back, O'Dwyer and Smith as the centre backs, Seckleford keeping his place in the team at right back, Payne and Dronfield are alongside each other, Embala, Carey and Brown make up the three just behind the main man Adam Marriott. Hopefully we can get a similar result to the last game. The bookies are predicting us to get the win against Murphy Tidville. They've only won one in their last five. We've won three and only lost to once. We're ninth in the league. Murphy Tidville are 15th. So hopefully should be a nice routine win. All right, so into the team talk. We've only got instructions for one Murphy Tidville player. The assistant manager, obviously not that concerned, but we all saw what happened a couple of episodes ago when he wasn't that concerned and he only put one uh, report, one instruction, sorry, on an on, on opposition player. Forgetting me words, I'm still losing me words from that last episode. 
And let's go passionate. Um, let's give the fans the performance they're expecting. No reaction. There's a lot more to come from you. And happy, happy, happy. And a little bit of reaction. About half the team's reacted. Hopefully, it should be enough to get us to win. Um, oh, prediction. What did I predict after that last game? 2-0. Two 2-0, nil. Two nil, I'm saying, for this one. Nice, comfortable, easy routine win. Ten minutes into the game. First highlight of the game. Vale with the cross. Smith heads it away. Goes to Mbala. And Carey with it. He's got a man out wide if he wants him. Or is he going to do it himself? He's gone out wide to Brown. And Brown, can he cross it? Can he go for the cross? He, he does. It goes back to Carey. And we are leading. Sonny Carey with only his second of the season. I said a few episodes ago, he's becoming one of my favourite players. And indeed he is. Very nice pass there to start the move off. George Brown crossed it. It took a deflection. Landed perfectly for Carey. And he was never going to make any mistake with that. 15 minutes in. We've got a free kick right on the edge of the box. It goes in and it's 2-0. Alfie Payne swinging that round the two-man wall. Bit of a weird decision to only go with a two-man wall there, I think. But Alfie Payne has punished them. And what a nice free kick this was. Curled it beautifully round dead round their wall and we are 2-0 up within 15 minutes now Dronfield with the ball for us 30 seconds later could we about to get another one Smith goes back to our keeper not quite sure why he's done that but he has and now Barnes is he going to play it long nope he goes short to Smith and the chance whatever we had of attacking seems to have gone and now Payne goes wide to Richards to David Embala. he's not scored for a few games He's due one, but Fraser's won the ball off him. Goes back to John. And now Johnfield to Payne. And now over the top. And now he... Oh, can make it go on? No, he can't. But Brown can. Brown is in. Can he make it free? Oh, hits the side netting. Fraser now with a throw in for Murtha. Lots of highlights in this game. Goes to Hayes and Barnes with the save there. Murtha coming forward. And it's Blackham with the ball, but we win it back. And now Payne. Payne with it over the top. Carey, I think he's offside. He's not been flagged yet. He's gone for the shot. And that's gone wide. It is just non-stop highlights at the minute. As we get the ball off their goal kick. Marriott with the shot. And that's gone wide. We could have had five already. And that is half time, people. 2-0 up, like I predicted. 14 shots to their two. Six on target to their one. 58% of possession. Yeah, we're a much, much better side than these. It would take an absolute nightmare for us to throw this game away. Cue me in about five minutes, crying my eyes out when we've lost 4-2. Almost an hour gone. First highlight of the second half. Vale to Blackham, but Carey with the interception. Marriott, can he go out wide to Mbala? He does. He's got Brown in oceans of space here. Oh, come on. Finally, he sees him. George Brown takes it down. And 3-0... 3-0 to the Kingsland, boys. Ah, oh, this is so much better than the last couple of episodes, isn't it, people? Yes. What a pass this was from Mbala once he saw it. Brown chested it down. One touch, two touch, three touch, back of the net. 3-0. This is a very nice performance. Hour gone. Have we got a chance here to get a fourth? Carey loses the ball there. They all plays it forward. And Newfield's got it. Our defenders missed the header. And oh, it's just wide. Would have been a tiny little bit of nerves there. Murtha are still coming at us. They've not given up the ghost just yet. Who's it going to be to take their corner? It is going to be Wallace. And he crosses it in. Carey heads it out. And now Brown on the counter. He's got Marriott ahead of him. Does he go for the pass? No, he doesn't. He gets fouled. And that should be a yellow card there, surely. Apparently not. I keep trying to make subs, but every time I do, there's a highlight. And Murtha have got one back. It's Noah Smearden with, of course, his first of the season. Very simple tapping after Barnes made an absolute hack of trying to keep hold of that ball. The rain not helping him there. Let's have a look at this. 
Yeah, he's just bounced out of his hands and Smeardon has reacted like he's Usain Bolt and got the ball in the back of the net. And still, I want to make a sub. Why are we getting all these constant highlights? Barnes with the ball for us. Goes wide to Seckleford. And now, can he find a teammate? He does. It goes to Carey. And he goes back to Seckleford. Who goes into the centre and goes to nobody in a blue shirt. Murphy are having all the ball at the minute. This is a little bit worrying. Robertson goes wide. And goes to Hayde. And now Hayde, can he get past Seckleford? He does. Plays it into the middle. Blackham with the shot and just wide. And now can I make a sub please? No. Oh, am I on full match now? Nope. Okay, we're just having a load, a load of highlights. Marriott cuts inside. Come on. Goes for, yeah, whatever that was. He, now, I'm, I'm doing the sub whether the game lets me or not. Marriott is off for spy rides because that was an awful shot. And then who else do we take off? I think Clunan for Dronfield. Bring on Clunan for Dronfield and leave it at that. And yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to bring the wingers back down, but I think we're going to be okay. Payne now with the ball, wide to Dronfield, to Seckleford. And he goes for the cross, and that's got some swing on it, that one has. And it swings all the way out of the box. Marriott gives it away to Fraser, and that goes out for our throw-in. Five minutes left in the game. Smurden with the ball, throws it to Wallace, goes to Hay. Good tackle there from Clunan. Carey now with it. Can he come forward? He does. And Spy Ride's just unable to get onto that. Payne to David Embala. And Embala is going to cut inside. He needs to pass it here. Please do pass it, son. Nope. Gone for the shot. And that was well over. A minute left in the game. Seckleford with the ball on our left-hand side. As we've just played it out of our own box. George Brown goes long. Carey's in space. Can Carey make it four? Can he? No, he can't. He needs to pass it now. He does. It goes to Brown, who needs to cross it. We're taking forever here. But Mbala finishes it up. 4-1. 4-1. And that is how you finish up a weekend of football, people. You beat a former FA Cup winner in the FA Cup. You get an easiest draw in the FA Cup first round proper. And then you win your league game four goals to one. Doesn't get much better than that, does it, people? And so, 4-1. What a result. 25 shots to their 14. 10 shots on target to their 6. 54% of the ball. Oh, I'm a happy boy. I'm a very happy boy right now. Let's go. I'm very pleased with the result and your performance. And then we'll check the league table. And then we'll see what games we're going to come back for in the next episode. And oh, look at that. Fifth in the league. We're back in the promotion spots. We're only six points off the top. But Ultram have got two games in hand. So yeah, we might not be catching them. But I, I fancy us to get into the playoffs this year. I think that's very, very doable. And so, let's see, when are we going to come back? Like always, I like to try and do it in like 10 games gaps. Or no, we'll come back We'll come back for the Blythe game in the FA Cup, yeah? I think that's what we'll do. So that's one, two, three, four. That's four games away. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll have Blythe as another FA Cup special in the next episode. And yep guys, that's where we're going to leave it. If you've enjoyed that video, if you've enjoyed both these videos over the weekend, give me a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content. Follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. Go and check out the Passion for FM website. Got some awesome downloads, some awesome guides, some awesome things like filters, player views, skins, logos. We've got a whole lot of stuff all like that so yeah please go and check all that good stuff out over on there details as ever down below and yep guys i shall see you uh tomorrow for the blythe spartans game in the fa cup 
see you later. Bye.